Diana long before the term supermodel was ever invented. There was Gail Haddon. Harper's Bazaar called her one of the most beautiful women in America. But in this most image-conscious culture, Dale learned the hard way that age often comes before beauty. You talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> yes, we are, and with good reason. Twenty years ago, Dale Haddon's face graced more magazine covers than almost any other model. She left her profession to raise a daughter, and now she's back, posing for a town and country cover with that same daughter, also a knockout. And she's written a new book, Ageless Beauty. Sounds picture perfect, right? Well, not exactly. Ten years ago, the man Dale had been living with died suddenly. She was left needing to support her then teenage daughter. So she tried to find work. I was told by everyone in the industry when I tried to go back to get a job or to work um, that I would never work again. Nobody wanted me in my industry, and then they, nobody wanted me as a waitress, or nobody wanted me in anything. So she went out and got a job as a receptionist in a modeling agency. I learned a lot of humility, um, as I my main jobs were washing the dishes and making coffee. I fought for that job as a receptionist. Aside from humility, Dale also learned a lot about where the business and the population were going. A third of the population are baby boomers, 42 million of them are women, and up until about five years ago, nobody was really addressing them in the beauty arena. So she started her own company, Dale Haddon Concepts, addressing the beauty needs of over 40 women, out of which came her book and lectures to women around the country. Did you know how important it is to care for your skin at night? Since that time, she's also been hired to do commercials for L'Oreal and other products. But the main blessing has been an entirely new outlook. One's challenges in life give you the chance, the opportunity to be more than you imagined you could be. And the biggest lesson Dale said she learned from all of this was that midlife can mean that your life has only half begun. There is much more adventure to enjoy. And yes, of course, there was that thing with the body brush, but you got to read the book. Okay. <laughs> she is an inspiration. Thank she you, She was. Judy. And a, a, a 